हेलो डियर ऑल वेलकम टू संदेह एजुकेशन अकेडमी आई एम संतोष वाग हियर वी विल सी क्वेश्चन अंडर ट्राई दिस सेक्शन पेज नंबर 81 डाटा हैंडलिंग चैप्टर क्लास 8 मैथमेटिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो नाउ सी द क्वेश्चन अंडर ट्राई दिस सेक्शन डाटा हैंडलिंग पेज नंबर 81 हियर क्वेश्चन इज गिवन ड्रॉ अ पाई चार्ट ऑफ द डाटा गिवन बिलो एंड व्हाट इज द डाटा गिवन द टाइम स्पेंड बाय अ चाइल्ड ड्यूरिंग अ डे दिस टाइम इज स्पेंड फॉर स्लीप 8 आवर स्कूल सिक्स आवर होमवर्क फोर आवर प्ले फोर आवर एंड अदर्स टू आवर्स मीन्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स आर इन अ डे आउट ऑफ दैट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स द चाइल्ड इज स्पेंडिंग फॉर स्लीप स्कूल होमवर्क प्ले एंड अदर्स दिस डाटा इज गिवन एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डाटा वट इज आज टू ड्रॉ अ पाई चार्ट नाउ फर्स्ट सी वट इज अ पाई चार्ट वेन डाटा इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन अ सर्क्युलर फॉर्म then it is called as a pie chart that is a circular graph that is the de definition of pie chart when we have a data and we are representing in a circular form then that figure is called as a pie chart it shows the relation between whole that is whole means whole circle and its parts that is the relation is given by from this pie chart here the circle is divided means in pie chart a circle is divided into sectors and size of each sector is proportional to the activity or information it represents here which activity is given sleep school homework play these activities are means this information given and circle whole circle means 24 hour here in this case 24 hour that 24 hour is divided in five sectors each sector represents the information given so let's start to draw a pie chart so first draw a table now see this is a table in this table there are four columns in first column activity sleep school homework play others in next column time spent now we know what is the time spent for sleep 8 hours so we will write here 8 hours for school 6 hour then then for play 4 hours and others 2 hours so this is the data given in the question we are just writing now see the in the next column what is asked in fraction means this total hour are 24 6 plus 4 14 18 22 24 that that means 24 hours so out of 24 hours the student is spending for sleep 8 hours means in fraction we can calculate 8 by 24 that is one third are you getting means one third of total day he is spending for sleep similarly what will be the fraction for school hours 6 by 24 means out of 24 hours he is spending 6 hours so fraction will be 6 for the 24 so it will be 1 by 4 6 for the 24 similarly for homework 4 by 24 it will be 4 6 the 24 it means 1 by 6 this is a fraction now for play 4 by 24 it is again same 1 by 6 and for others 2 by 24 it will be 1 by 12 so these are the fractions if we add all these fractions we will get 1 that is the condition summation of all fractions must be 1 now see we have to calculate the central angle of sector I have already told in pie chart data is represented in circular form and all these are the sectors in fraction we got this information now we have to calculate the central angle of sector total angle of the circle at the center is 360 isn't it now the central angle of the sector will be the fraction of 360 isn't it now just see when if this is a circle if it, it is a whole and it has a 360 at center then there will be sectors like this 
representing each information and each sector this each sector has a degree that will be the fraction of 360 degree because in center there is total is 360 total is 360 and this sector will have fraction of 360 degree that we are going to calculate how to calculate we know the fraction is one third for sleep so right here one third into 360 degree total is 360 degree and for sleep is one third fraction so it will be 120 degree means for the this sector which sector sleep sector it will have a 120 degree similarly for school 1 4 into 360 degree 360 degree it will be 90 degree just calculate 4 9 are 36 now in the for homework 1 6 1 6 divided 1 by 6 into 360 degree that will be the 6 6 are means 60 degree for play it will be same as homework and it will be 60 degree again and for others 112 into 360 degree that will be 30 degree if we add all these fraction of 360 fraction of 360 we will get total 360 just calculate 120 plus 90 210 210 plus 60 270 270 plus 60 330 plus 30 360 means total is 360 degree total of all these fractions will be 360 degree because it is a part of whole circle now we will draw a pie chart to draw a pie chart we need a rounder now see to draw a pie chart we need our rounder and D protector so first draw a circle with sufficient radius take this rounder and draw a circle with sufficient radius now see this is the center of circle and angle at the center is 360 degree we have to divide this circle in sectors representing each information for sleep 8 hours out of 24 hours means 120 degree out of 360 degree isn't it for school 90 degree for homework 60 degree for play 60 degree and others 30 degree so it is very easy to draw 90 degree because 90 degree we know so we will start with 90 degree just draw a first base any base we can draw we will draw this baseline and with the help with the reference to this baseline we will draw each sector first we will draw 90 degree for school just match this center point of D and center point of circle and mark here 90 degree okay then join this point with the center mark this line so this is the 90 degree this angle is 90 degree and this sector is for school school okay hmm. now see this is 120 degree then we will start from this point this sector we will come here to make 120 degree so how 120 degree is done first 120 means 90 plus 30 isn't it so it will come across this up to this will be 90 and 30 degree plus so it will come here like this so match this center point of D and this line and count count degree from this this side because we have drawn 90 degree up to this next sector will be from this side this will be the 90 and then it will be the 100 110 120 so this point will be 120 and match this point draw a line up to circle from center point of circle 
so this sector will be of 120 degree and that will represent sleeping time this sector is for sleep sleep hours then we have drawn school sector sleep sector then next will be 60 degree homework we have to draw a sector now from this line so match our D point center point of D and this line align this line center line like this and count 60 degree from this 10 20 30 40 50 60 that point will be 60 degree join this point up to center point of circle and with circle now see this degree is 90 degree this is 120 degree 120 degree plus 60 degree that will come 180 degree and we know 180 degree is a half of the circle so this line must be aligned with this are you getting this must be straight line because this is 120 degree and 60 degree is this sector so these two lines must be straight that is just additional information now this 60 degree represents homework hours now next will be the 60 degree again and the remaining will be 30 means 60 plus 30 is 90 degree and this degree must be 90 degree as this is straight line we have drawn this 90 degree this is 90 degree so first we will draw a 60 degree take again D align this D with center point of circle and line to this and count degree from this side 60 degree 10 20 30 40 50 60 degree so join this point with the center point of circle then remaining must be 30 degree as this is a 60 degree remaining must be 30 degree we will just see whether it is actual 30 or not by aligning this D point and this line so just see center point this now count 10 20 30 and this line is 30 degree are you getting so we have drawn a perfect pie chart in pie chart we first draw a circle then circle is divided into sectors representing the fraction of 360 degree total degree of circle at the point of center is 360 degree and each sector represents the action or the information for this sector are you getting thus this is a very simple way to draw a pie chart for pie chart we need information in fraction of degree in fraction of degree means out of 360 degree how much that information represents so we can color this sector with different colors thus this data thus this data given is represented in the form of pie chart This is all for this video, we will meet again in our next video, do learn, do enjoy, thank you.